Hey, what is going on dudes? My name is Freaky and welcome back to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video and I got a big tip for you guys today on which perks you should definitely use when you are playing this game. Now, they are definitely needed, I would say, in this game to get your higher KD and be able to maneuver around the map a little bit easier and not to be seen. So, what are these perks you want to know? Well, first of all, you got low profile. Now, low profile, um, you get right off the bat. You can pop in the disc and boom, you got low profile in uh, pretty much all of your classes depending on what the custom classes are uh, but you got it and number two is blast suppress now blast suppress you unlock at level two uh, so pretty much you just need to play one game and you got both of the perks the best perks in the game in my opinion and I will tell you why now Low profile. What does low profile do? It's the ghost of the game, meaning that you are invisible to UAVs and tracking rounds. So basically, there's always been a ghost perk in every Call of Duty, no matter what Call of Duty it is, it's always been there. But in Black Ops 2, ghosts was if you were continuously moving, you would stay off the minimap as long as they had a UAV up in the air. So, and if you ever stayed in one area, you would show up on the minimap if they had a UAV. But in this game, they reversed it back to the old Call of Duties where you're always invisible to UAVs no matter what. Even if you're moving, if you're sitting in one place, you're always invisible to UAVs. So, which is a little bit of a change up so you can kind of play more of a rush friendly uh, playstyle uh, with this perk on. Or if you wanted to sit back and wait for people to just flock to an area, uh, then there you go as well. And I don't know how I feel about this, but for right now, as for my playstyle, I like to rush with this. And it seems to be really effective like Black Ops 1 used to be with Ghost. Now, Blast Suppress, I like to call it my little ghost of the exosuit uh, perk because basically when you use this perk you don't show up on the enemy's mini maps when you're using the exo movements and you guys might be saying what are those exo movements are those the exo abilities are those you know the double jumping so pretty much if you're using dashing if you're double jumping you're sliding etc you'll never show up on the enemy's mini map at all whether they have a uav up or not you'll never show up which is fantastic now if you want to take my advice and use these perks to Together, you'll be very happy while playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and I will tell you why. First of all, if you're using these perks together, it'll make it easier to maneuver around the map. That's just first of all, uh, because you can flank around the map, they'll never really see you because they'll be paying attention to the minimap most of all and not to the people that are running around them and flanking behind them because your little exo movements will not be boosting around the map. Also, to make it a little bit more stealthy, so if you're one of those people that like to be a little bit stealthy and a little bit rush friendly, uh, then here's the little tip for you because once the enemy, and yes, every enemy and their mother runs UAV is nowadays in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because it's one of the only kill streaks people can get in this game as of right now, to be honest. And uh, basically, they'll be staring at the mini map, looking forward to ping any enemies. Uh, on their side and they won't be paying attention to anyone that's coming behind them flanking or wherever they are and you'll basically get uh, some flank kills most of the time unnoticed and it's just a great combo to just to use these two perks together because if you're one of those people that like to get a little bit of a higher KD or a little bit more of an advantage on your enemies then here's the little two perks for you if you guys have used this before let me know in the comment section below how you're using this how you're doing with it if you haven't tried this out let me know if your KD is going up or whatever it is mine has definitely been going up since I've been using these two little perks together and it's crazy to think that you get the two best perks in the game in my personal opinion right when you pop in the disc which is amazing and hope you guys did enjoy this video this has been I'm Freaky and uh, if you're new around here hit that subscribe button share this video with friends on Twitter and Facebook so they can understand and learn the best two perks in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and I guess I will catch her Freaky faces in the next video What is going on dudes? My name is Freaky and welcome to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the little minor things in Advanced Warfare that need to be fixed and other little minor bugs.